Behold the protein tower of power. We have cheese. We have fish. We have eggs. We have ugh, turkey. Gross. We have beef. Mm. And we have protein powder. Protein, protein, protein! Ah! Good morning, endurance friends. Matt Mossman, Chief Endurance Officer over at Endurelite, the maker of premium supplements for endurance athletes and endurance training and supplement expert. So you can probably tell by the intro to this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, protein today and more specifically uh, protein in the endurance athlete. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell you uh, how much protein you should be eating on a daily basis and kind of how you should uh, space that total amount uh, uh, out through the day. Now, right off the bat, you're gonna not need as much protein on a daily basis as the, uh, the uh, gym bros who are trying to you know, put on muscle mass. You're gonna need slightly less than that and for different reasons. So let's just jump right into this and uh, get you all the good info on uh, your protein requirements and why you should be eating this much. So as an endurance athlete, you should be eating 0.45 to 0.72 grams of protein per pound body weight daily. Now, like I said, as an endurance athlete, you're not looking on uh, to put on more uh, muscle mass. In most circumstances, there are situations where you might wanna do that. But for you, uh, that amount of protein is going to be required to promote optimal muscle repair and recovery. Also, uh, the BCAAs uh, from protein consumption can also uh, provide energy during endurance exercise and can also help uh, blunt fatigue. So 0.45 to 0.72 grams per pound body weight. I will throw one caveat in here. If you are a vegetarian, you may want to up that protein amount to one gram per pound of body weight. And why this is, is usually plant-based proteins have a, a poorer amino acid profile than uh, a diet that includes meats and things like that. So in order to get the, the right amount of amino acids, especially BCAAs, you may need to up your, uh, your protein requirement there. So, how do, you, how do you get this amount of protein? Uh, how should you spread it out through the day? So obviously, like the foods I mentioned uh, in the beginning, um, your lean meats, your cheeses, um, your eggs are all uh, good sources of protein. So say for a guy like me who's 160 pounds, uh, my protein requirements would be anywhere from 72 grams of protein today, of a, per day up to 115 grams of protein per day. Now, what kind of in that range, you know, where you're going to fall really depends on, you know, how long and how intense you're training on a, a weekly basis. Obviously, if you're like in a base training phase where the, the mileage is low and the intensity is low, you might be towards the end of that range, more towards like the 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. Where if you're, you know, ultra elite and, you know, training really hard, you're going to be up at that upper end of the 0.72 uh, grams uh, per pound body weight. Now, how you want to space this throughout the day is basically you want to try to consume protein every three to four hours if you can uh, to optimally promote uh, muscle protein synthesis. And that's just basically a big fancy physiological process that uh, describes or the process that helps muscles uh, repair and recover. So, uh, you know, breakfast, you know, it should include about 20 to 25 grams of protein. Uh, maybe after that, have a snack three, four hours later with, you know, 15 to 20 grams of protein. Lunch, you know, include another 25 grams of protein and then just kind of cycle through for your next snack, uh, dinner time and before bed. Um, so with each meal or snack, you want to be getting anywhere from about 20 to 25 grams of protein. Um, or a little less, again, depending on your protein requirements to optimally promote uh, muscle protein synthesis. Now, what if it's really hard for you to get uh, your, you know, meet your protein requirements through a whole food diet? Um, like, it's, it's really hard for me, um, you know, especially up at the uh, upper end of protein requirements. I, I just can't eat enough like lean meats or, or eggs or cheese to get up to that. So if you find yourself um, 
in that boat, here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab your significant other, I want you to grab your best friend, and I want you to go have a uh, three-way, uh, a three-way shake that is. Um, since Endurolite doesn't uh, sell a protein now, I get a lot of questions on what uh, protein powder I recommend. Um, and this would be uh, probably one of my favorites. This is uh, Three Way, a very clever play on words, uh, by Kodiak Sports Nutrition. Now why I like this protein uh, is basically for uh, three reasons. One, it has 26 grams of protein um, per serving from three different uh, whey sources, whey isolate, whey concentrate, and whey hydrosylate. So very fast absorbing proteins to really promote muscle protein synthesis or muscle repair and recovery um, you know, throughout the day or after a hard work or a workout or whatnot. Um, two, uh, it tastes absolutely phenomenal. Like it's, it's like eating a dessert. And the third reason, if you're in a crunch and you don't have weights, you can actually use this to do curls with and you know get, get huge biceps and whatnot. So one of my top recommendations, definitely check them out. Again, it's called Three Way uh, by Kodiak Sports Nutrition. Um, highly recommended. So that is about it on protein for today. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you want more content like this, go to www.endurelite.com where we have a plethora of uh, endurance information from training to nutrition to supplementation uh, to gear reviews and everything else in between. So until next time, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and eat your protein!